Good morning my brothers and sisters of Christ. Welcome to another Sunday service. Today is going to be a special day. We will have a preacher today. Amen. Who is going to preach the gospel, the word of God. Our best friend, our brother, Isaiah Kidd, from New York, USA. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is always good. But, before we start our next church service, I will be reading a powerful Bible verse. So let's get our Bibles, and we will read what the Lord says in this Bible verse of today. Amen. Glory to Jesus. We will be reading the Bible verse that the pastor will be sharing with us today. Anyways, let's begin reading the Bible. Okay, so now that we have our Bibles ready, let's begin. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, here is the word of the day. The Lord is my strength, and my shield. My heart trusts Him, I was helped, my heart rejoiced, and I thank Him with my song. You can find this Bible verse, in the book of Psalms, chapter 28 verses 7. Amen my brothers. Alright let's continue. Amen. Let's continue my brothers and sisters. Even though I walk through the valley, of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You can find this Bible verse, in the book of Psalms, chapter 23 verses 4. Let's continue hallelujah. Nothing can defeat you because God, is with you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to the Almighty. You can find this powerful Bible verse, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 51 verses 7. Okay my brothers and sisters, we will finally begin our Sunday church service. Hallelujah. Praise God. Remember my brothers and sisters, God is watching us from heaven. Amen. So our brother Isaiah you kid, will be sharing the gospel today. May God bless him, and continue being the instrument of the Almighty High. Jesus Christ is real guys. Hello there, my brothers and sisters of Christ. Today is going to be another special day, to begin our Holy Sunday service. Remember guys, the Church of God, belongs to Jesus. Anyways, let's begin this service. Amen. God loves all of us, and so does Jesus Christ, the Son of our Heavenly Father, who is our Lord and Savior. God is waiting for us, to do His will. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died on the cross. He shed His precious blood for all of us. In this precious blood, we wiped us from our sins. He forgave us, because He really loves us. He is the only one who can change us, when we accept Jesus Christ. As our personal and only Savior, Jesus Christ will clean our hearts, renew our minds. He will give us a new heart. We will become born again, as Christians. Christians is a term, that describes, followers of Jesus Christ. We become Christians. Jesus Christ is a perfect doctor, but the most powerful doctor of all doctors. Hallelujah. He is our Heavenly Father who is still alive as of today. He lives forever, and ever. The God of yesterday, is the same God of today who will become the God of tomorrow and so on. We still worship the same one truly God. He is still alive, and his name is Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's right my brother. Our Heavenly Father, is the same God of yesterday, today and tomorrow. God never changes, he is still the same Lord. Hallelujah. Amen my pastor. Our Lord is the most perfect God that we can have. Not only that, but he is considered our Heavenly Father, the Creator of humanity. He created humans for a reason, and that reason is so that they can worship their Creator. And that Creator of everything is Jesus Christ, the true living God. God, is waiting for the unsaved people, with his open arms, so that they receive him as their personal Savior. Jesus Christ can change everyone who is willing to accept him in their hearts. Jesus can change them. So, if you read this sign at the left corner, it says that Jesus Christ will change anyone who is willing, to accept them as their personal savior, in their hearts. Amen. I totally agree with that message here. 
That is absolutely correct. Jesus Christ will change any person who is willing to accept him as their personal savior. Praise God. That's the spirit, my brother. Now, let's read our Bibles again. I will be reading some Bible verses, and I will be discussing what is the meaning of each Bible verse. Amen? Oh glory to the Lord! Hallelujah! Let's get out our Bibles again guys! The preacher is going to read some Bible verses, so listen carefully, my brothers and sisters. Alright my brothers and sisters of the church, let's begin our teaching. Remember you guys, God is watching us, so let's all be obedient to God's message, the Word of God. The Bible says, Sing to the Lord, for He has done excellent things. Let this be known in all the earth. You can find this Bible verse in the book of Isaiah, chapter 12, verses 5. Amen my brothers, praise God, if you agree with the word of God. What is the meaning of this Bible verse? Well, in my own definition, it means that you have to praise the Lord by worshipping Him with songs. Share what God has done in your life. Worship Him, every day. When you sing to the Lord, He will hear you from heaven. Singing to the Lord is a way to worship God. God loves when His children sing to Him. That is why, my brothers and sisters, we have to worship our Heavenly Father, which is our Lord, Jesus Christ, our personal Savior. We have to testify what God has done in our lives. When we share our testimonies, God will bless us. When we share what God is doing to our family, He will bless us more. When we keep obeying our Lord, He is going to do a miracle by answering our prayers, and so on. Obedience is a key to heaven. We have to love others, because God is love. Amen, amen. That's right my brother. Obedience is the key for heaven. When we obey the Holy Spirit, that means we are also obeying God's word. Hallelujah, praise our Lord. Glory to Jesus, hallelujah. Anyways my brothers and sisters, let's read the next Bible verse. Then I will show you what this Bible verse really means. Praise our Lord Almighty. The Bible says, for this is how God brought in the world. He gave his one and only son, so that everyone who believes in him, will not perish, but have eternal life. You can find this powerful Bible verse in the book of John, chapter 3, verses 16. Alright my brothers? So here is the definition in my own words. God loves every one of us. He is waiting for the unsaved people to accept Him in their hearts. You have to believe in Jesus Christ. Follow this path, and you will be saved. Amen? When they accept Jesus Christ as their only Savior, and say that Jesus Christ died on the cross for them, shed his precious blood, Jesus resurrected, Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, glory to the Almighty from heaven, hallelujah. Hallelujah praise the Lord. That is right my dear brother. Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life. Glory to the Almighty. Hallelujah, God loves each one of us. Amen. That's right. Whoever is willing to accept Jesus Christ as their only personal Lord and Savior, come up to the altar, and we will pray for you. Remember, God's love is always free. Father, we are here to pray for our brother, who today, accepted you as his only Savior, and that you do a miracle in his life. Help him, O oh Lord, so that he can share the word of the Almighty. Father, I thank you for this powerful message that was delivered in this service today. Thank you Jesus, for everything you've done today. Bless us young boy. We love you Jesus. God loves children. He loves kids. The children are the future of tomorrow according to your word. Bless the boy and help him do your will. In Jesus name, we pray. Amen. Receive your blessing from the Almighty. In Jesus name. My young brother in Christ. God loves you buddy. Receive your blessing. Hallelujah. There you go, buddy. Now, you look like a big boy. You're a big kid now.